When we had the redesignation announced uh, and with the naming committee recommending the names of uh, Lieutenant General Gregg and Lieutenant Colonel Adams, we decided what better time to do an exhibit, a uh, temporary exhibit on these two individuals to share these stories. Because most people outside of the, the Army community and even within the sustainment community don't know who these individuals are. The importance of, of General Gregg to the Quartermaster community is really just very deep. It really is a trailblazer um, in, in the Quartermaster community and, and ends up being the first uh, black Quartermaster General Officer. Now, Lieutenant Colonel Adams, while not a Quartermaster, she was still uh, a sustainer because the 6888 you know, their mission was to clear this massive backlog of mail that had piled up over in Europe. And so being in charge of that unit, you know, it's the, the only female African-American unit that goes overseas in World War II and going to England and then later to France and really boosting morale, making sure that mail got to its destination, got to the front lines as, you know, the U.S. Army is fighting its way across Europe in 1945 you know, just massively important for that sustainment and support that this installation, you know, now Fort Greg Adams is, you know, a, such a vital part of. And so it's important to share those stories broadly, not only with the public, but also with the soldiers coming through for their AIT history and heritage training, they come through the museum, but just to share these individuals and their stories to kind of create a new legacy um, here at uh, now Fort Greg Adams.